five. KG Radio News Time now, 746. Well, casual Fridays at the office may become a thing of the past and kind of sounds like we took a little bit of advantage of it, I guess you could say. Diane Gotsman joins us on the KGO Live Line right now. She is the owner of the Protocol School of Texas. Good morning, Diane. Good morning. So a recent survey of businesses found 34% of companies actually allow casual Fridays, and that is down from 53% in 2002. Why the drop? Well, I think that we are taking advantage as a as a it, company by company. We take advantage of that business casual, and it turns into wash your car on on Friday wear rather than taking it seriously. So, what is too casual? If you can wear it to wash your car, if you're wearing it on the beach, it's too casual to wear in the office. And so, what, what kinds of things are you finding, though? I mean, what what specific articles of clothing or lack of clothing? I guess. Just T-shirts, just just ratty T-shirts, things that have not been ironed, sandals for both men and women. You know, if a man is wearing a pair of even nice khakis, but he's wearing deck shoes or tennis shoes, um, you know, that, that takes it a little too casual. Now, I know that different companies have different corporate policies. So, you know, the first thing you have to do is look at your own, your own corporate policy because what would be business casual and acceptable to one company could be absolutely detrimental to another company, you know, or another employee wearing it to that office environment. Now, you mentioned the deck shoes, and I'm thinking, wow, you know, some Sperry topsiders out there, they can, you know, cost up near a 100 bucks. and exactly. Even jeans, you know, you buy a pair of True Lidge and jeans, and, you know, you're in the hole for a while. Exactly. And, you know, again, you know, deck shoes on their own are not bad, but there, there are some corporate cultures, some very conservative corporate environments where they would be frowned on, you know, just, just for, for work wear. Uh, and, and you're right. You know, just because something costs a lot of money doesn't mean that it really fits into the work environment. Um, you know, we are judged by the way we present ourselves. And if we're trying to come across as a professional and, and that's, that is credible, then we wear these leggings or jeggings, you know, these days. Um, just because they cost $125 and you wear them with, you know, boots over the knee, it still sends the wrong message for a conservative environment. Now, if you're in retail, you know, all bets are off. You can wear uh, – you have a lot more flexibility because you're trying to sell your product. Right. Yeah, and if, and if you work at a surf shop, you know, on the beach, sure. I guess you're you okay. that beach wear. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, Diane, uh, thanks so much. we we got to run, but we appreciate it. And, sure, uh, my pleasure. All right, and dress casually, but not too casually, you come this Friday. Yes. Diane Gotsman is owner of the Protocol School of Texas.